أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نويت الأربعين نويت الاعتكاف نويت الخلوة نويت العزة نويت الرياضة نويت السلوك لله تعالى العظيم في هذا المسجد We are the last days of Ramadan last ten days we spoke on the first ten days about Sayyidina Mahdi السلام, what they have opened for him and we the second ten days we mentioned and now the last ten days they are ready to receive there are preparation now for Sayyidina al-Mahdi السلام, to receive the secret of Holy Quran because when he comes he comes with secrets whatever was considered secret he will open it up he is the key of every secret he is the key of every ocean he is the key of every holy book he is inheriting that power from Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu as soon as the secret of Holy Quran is opened through his prayers means through his key every one of people that they are going to be present in his presence especially those who are waiting for him and preparing themselves for a better life a peaceful life in his time and the time of Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam everyone will be receiving from that secret that he's going to open one beam and that beam is going to be the possibility and the vehicle for every individual to reach his ascension and it will be considered for him as his night of ascension his ascension will be to the presence of Prophet and Prophet will introduce him there to those who were before him waiting for that appearance Amrul Islam the matter of Islam is means coming with people to its lowest understanding because people don't want to understand what is Islam and Muslim many they are busy in their daily life they are not looking at their religious life so as if that this issue has been left behind as it has dropped down to its lowest point now it's picking up quickly as it went slowly to its lowest point now it's pu- pu- uh, going quickly up in a in a miraculous way not waiting moments after moments second after second days and after days but it is going up so quick but uh, it is part of the preparation <coughs> and for the hearts of people in order to be able to receive the knowledge that Sayyid al-Mahdi is going to spread and pour in the heart of those who are waiting for his appearance seven ministers that he has Shahamat al-Fardani, 
يوسف الصديق عبد الرؤوف اليماني إمام العارفين أمان الحق إنسان المتكلمين عن الله السخاوي عارف الطيار المعروف والحال برهان القرماء and the Sultan of Awliya House Al-Anam there are seven these seven are being given now they are being given authority to look at the heart of every person that is going to be in the time of Mahdi alayhi salam they are not interested in those who are going not the meaning interested but they are not it is not their job to look at those who are going to pass away there is someone else for that but they are they, their job is to look at those who are going to stay living in the time of Mahdi in order to open their hearts and to down, download download or upload download all these informations and knowledges of Ma'rifatullah into the heart of people they will prepare it in order to make it as much as possible able to attract the secret of Holy Quran which is going to be revealed to Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, and from him to Sayyidina Al-Mahdi السلام, and then from him to these seven ministers and then from them to Awliyaullah and then from them to their students who are going to be living in the time of Mahdi السلام. And everyone, according to his capacity or capability of taking this information. And Allah said, لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها. Allah doesn't burden anyone more than it take. So, according to the, to the container of the heart, this information will be given. It's like we like a, like runway like a huge runway where where airports land huge airport land from every direction they there are at airports runways because the every direction aeroplane are coming so the job of these seven ministers is to prepare the heart of the followers of the students to be like runways from every direction there will be landing a different vehicle carrying many of the uh, 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 many of these knowledges that is particularly to that person and from one person to another person knowledges differ they don't give you the same knowledge because what is con your container is different from the other container. Your heart is different from the other heart. So everyone will be having different knowledge that he by his turn reflecting it, spreading it to others. So they don't give similar then, then what is the benefit of having a lot of people. They want a lot of people with different knowledges because whenever they move that these knowledges will be reflected from their heart to those people whom they are meeting and they are seeing even without talking to them it will be like reflecting from one person to another so uh, this preparation for the revelation of the secret of holy quran will enable them to reach their ma'arish their ascensions to their stations because everyone has a station he needs or she needs to ascend 
to that station and this is the way how they are going to be able to ascend to their stations it is in this month in the association of awliyaullah in the presence of prophet sallallahu wasallam that mahdi alayhi salam has been given authority to begin that procedures to begin these procedures and as a result Mawlana Sheikh was being asked to deliver a speech to all these uh, deputies and to all these Khalifa there were present 40 Khalifa of Sayyidina al-Mahdi and 59 deputies on the numbers of the attributes and beautiful names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which are 99 so 40 Khalifa and 59 deputies will will come to 99 names and these 99 names these deputies and these Khalifa are being their names are being exposed by Sayyidina Sheikh Sharaf al-Din before he passed away Grand Grand Sheikhs uh, Grand Sheikh Sheikh Sayyidina Sheikh Sharaf al-Din uh, our Grand Sheikh Sheikh Abdullah al-Fazid al-Stani he's Sheikh Sheikh Sharaf al-Din for three months he said he was extracting from Surah Al-An'am uh, the names of the deputies and the Khalifa of Mahdi alayhi salam wa min abaihim wa dhuriyatihim wa akhwani wa akhwani wa shtabaynahum wa adaynahum from their parents and from their families and from their brothers we have pulled their names uh, out he pulled his these names for three months and it was very heavy and because of that he had a heart uh, situation that was very tough on his heart that he gave these names to Grand Sheikh and uh, this means when he gives the names means he presented this awliya Allah uh, 40 Khalifa and 59 deputies he presented them to Mawlana Sheikh Nazim who took he took uh, responsibility and Grand Sheikh passed <coughs> that to Mawlana Sheikh Nazim I uh, we have been uh, given these names we know these names and it's uh, we have written them, and uh, but we did not publish them. Uh, but uh, they are re ready to appear at any moment. So he, Maulana Sheikh Nazim, stood up, uh, uh, giving them a speech. from the secret of Holy Quran it opened to his heart from Grand Sheikh to speak about the importance of the cleansing of the self and the importance of ittiba to follow the footsteps of Prophet these Khalifa 40 and 59 deputies were the first one to dress the lights of the secret of Holy Quran and in this meeting in this association all spiritual uh, uh, people all mean spiritual who are able to see and meet and come to such association means awliya Allah has been at the appeared and they sat in this association in order to be perfected and in order to com complete their circle of knowledge until they become ready 
in order to mingle with around people to prepare them for the time of Mahdi alayhi salam. This Ramadan, Mahdi alayhi salam has been uh, has been informed about the time of his presence, appearance, and what is going to happen in this future, in, in the future, in the short future, near future, that he has to take care of, and especially to bring peace and justice to earth with no fighting, with no war, with no weapons, with nothing. Only with love and good speech. As Allah said, وَخَاطُبْهُمْ بِالَّذِهِ أَحْسَنْ Talk to them in the best manner, in the best way that they can understand. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has jahazahu has prepared him with a special hidden power that is so huge like like a huge energy we, we say today a nuclear energy for electricity we use nuclear energy Allah have given him has given him an energy that it beyond any energy that we understand he gave him from the energy that we spoke two days ago from the association or in one of the association that this energy are coming from not from worldly energy but it is a heavenly energy that is being reflected from the uh, from the energy that it is with Jibreel alayhi salam. And we explain that in detail. Anyone did not hear that can go back on uh, Sufi life, is not? No. And they can see them there, can read them there. And with that energy, he put under his tasarruf, under under his control under his command or his control every piece, smallest piece on earth means every shiver every hand hands measure on earth that is uh, Sayyidina al-Mahdi to to control and to to command physically on earth and he authorized Maulana Sheikh to work on the heart of people. So it will be be going as as fast as possible and through Sayyidina Al Mahdi with his authorization for Awliya Allah to work on the heart of people. On the other hand, he is working on the physical part of the earth. As a result, in heavens. There was a huge celebration and happiness that the uh, that the sufferings and pain and bloodshed are going to stop on earth, and justice and happiness is going to appear as they they do a, a what you say starad askari. As they do uh, exhibition, march. Yeah, uh, the army they do march. What you call that? Parade. 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 As they do parade uh, in heavens, there was a parade of happiness for that uh, opening that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala opened to Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and Sayyidina Muhammad opened to Sayyidina al-Mahdi and Sayyidina al-Mahdi to Awliyaullah they went into a kind of a parade in order to that uh, people will feel better 
and uh, this uh, parade happened and its, ha its happiness was reflected on earth for people to feel that happiness. There are going to be a lot of changes, a lot of different uh, new countries, a lot of different old countries will go, new countries will come with a new peaceful people and without any, any bloodshed. Uh, Allah ordered <coughs> and gave permission for Sayyidina al-Mahdi to see ahead of time the, his days that he is going to spend on earth. He is going to spend seven years and in every and he has seven ministers. Every year of his life, of his spending on earth, of his dunya, of his life, one of his ministers will die. And the last and the seventh, then Sayyidina al-Mahdi will go and die. These seven years, day by day, Sayyidina al-Mahdi, by Allah's order and Prophet's order, he was able to see what's going to happen in his time. Everything was shown to him. He doesn't need to wait for day by day to know what's going to happen tomorrow or to happen his day that day. Already he has seen that. Already he knows what is what is going to go there. This is this is what in short what has been happened and after that there was a huge celebration in uh, in heavens angels were reciting subhana dil izzati wal jabarut subhana dil qudrati wal malakut subbuhu quddus rabbuna wa rabbul malaikati wal ruh they were reciting and in a very melodious voice, all of them. Subhana dil izzati wal jabarut. Subhana dil izzati wal jabarut. Subhana dil qadrati wal malakut. Subbuhun kuddus, rabbuna wa rabbul malaikati wal ruh. In seven heavens, they were uh, reciting and praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Grand Sheikh and Maulana Sheikh said that that the kursi, the chair, the heavenly chair was being decorated, and the throne descend on it. All these uh, manifestations of Allah's beautiful names and attribute that has been opened for Mahdi alayhi salam to come with in these days that ahead of us. He said, if that musical, heavenly musical voice of praisings that angels praised Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at that day, in this, in this Ramadan for Sayyidina al-Mahdi appearance, people will be flying without wings between earth and heavens. It will, th that magnet, magnetic power that was coming from their recitation will pull people from earth beyond gravity and pull them up toward heavens. He said that gravity that we understand that and all these electromagnetic waves are these waves are coming from the reflections of the angels tasabih. What scientists are learning from vibration and wavelength and from uh, electromagnetic fields and different kind of uh, waves are coming from different praises of angels that they are praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These praises are making, are, make, are the source of these magnetic waves or these waves with different vibration from uh, acute 
to long waves from digital to analog. He said when Mahdi alayhi salam appeared, all this musical, heavenly musical uh, of angels is going to be heard for to those people who are being going there. And he said not only that, everyone will, of those who are going to be with Mahdi alayhi salam going to see them horses, them, themselves sitting on horses and these horses are flying them from one place to another. You don't need any more aeroplane. Horses with wings will be flying human beings to their destination where they have to be present in order to bring happiness to earth. That is enough and inshallah we'll continue later and this is for the last 10 days as we promised. Uh, from beginning, so he spoke th three lectures to now about Sayyidina Mahdi. The first ten days I said something, the second ten days I said something, and now the last ten days.